Hi there, this is Jen, and thanks for joining me on the Not Too Shabby channel. Today, uh, I am using the Stampin' Die of the month for the month of June, which is this super adorable donut character stamp set. And I thought I'd do some really super easy coloring by using the reverse side of the stamp. Uh, this will work on any stamps that are have a pretty uniform shape. Um, and so basically what I'm going to do is grab some paper. This really pretty pattern paper is from the Ladybug paper pack, which was, I believe, in a box of the month. Um, and I went ahead and I grabbed some Catherine Puller inks uh, that matched up with the um, colors on that pattern paper. Um, but then I'm going to get to my stamping. So I have a piece of, I believe... Um, hammer mill cardstock and um, I have that piece cut to about three and an eighth by four and an eighth and I'm just trying to figure out where to start my stamping at so I get a fairly um, even pattern on the paper and so I'd go ahead and decided to start in that right corner and I've actually flipped the stamp over so I'm not going to be doing or stamping the detail portion of the stamp right now, I am going to be stamping the solid portion of the stamp. Um, sometimes it might not stick too well, and you can see I'm being really super careful about putting my ink pad on it uh, because that other side is a little bit tacky just so that um, it could, you know, stick to the um, block or whatever you're using to stamp it with. And so um, I'm being careful not to move my stamp pad how I normally would on a stamp just to make sure that that stays in the same position. And so I've kind of um, held that stamp pad a little bit at an angle and I'm just kind of pouncing the color on. And I'm going to go ahead and repeat this process for um, all of the little characters. Some are uh, repeated, but I go ahead and use those three different colors. And the colors I'm using in the Catherine Puller inks are Bellini, Pink Champagne, and Hot Tub. And now I'm gonna flip the stamp over and stamp up the detailed portion um, of that stamp. And to do that, I'm using some Versafine Black. So I'll go ahead and ink up the stamp you can also do this and then use the die to cut out the um, image. Um, and you'll see because the solid surface of the stamp is a little bit um, wider, just slightly wider than the uh, detailed portion. There's a little bit of uh, color around the outside of where the detailed image is being stamped. But this is a super um, easy, quick way to do a little bit of coloring without really doing a little bit of coloring. And so um, I'm going to go ahead and finish that off. And and now I'm going to go ahead and assemble all my paper pieces. The largest is four and a quarter by five and a half. The um, white mat that I'm doing right now is four by five and a quarter. And then the ladybug paper is about three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. Uh, and these are approximate sizes because um, I don't really do well at measuring. <laughs> and so uh, most of the time I'll hold it up and see what uh, looks good. And then of course this paper is about three and an eighth by four and an eighth. And then I'll go ahead and add the sentiment from the stamp set. And then the stamp set has these little sprinkle um, stamps in it. And so I'm going to fill in a little bit of that white space using those three Catherine Pooler colors uh, just to add a little bit more to the background. And and this stamp and die set is still available. You can get the stamp and the die set together or just the stamp set by itself. But I'm going to go ahead and take those three colors that I used uh, to stamp the images and finish up with the little sprinkles. And that's going to do it for this card today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did like this video, I would love a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to the Not Too Shabby channel so you don't miss out in, on any videos. And I also wanted to mention that Jamie now has a, a membership. So if you click on the join button that is on the Not Too Shabby channel right next to the where you subscribe, um, that will tell you the different levels and the member perks. So I hope you check that out as well. Um, thanks so much for joining me today and I hope to see you next time.